A Hillsborough City employee questioned Hillsborough Auditor Gary Lewis on city finance during a tense tax budget hearing held Monday prior to a Hillsborough City Council meeting. Lewis said that had he been given an opportunity to review questions asked by City Administrative Assistant and Hillsborough resident Kirby Ellison, he would have been able to provide her with specific answers. But Lewis said Ellison was, quote, playing a game of gotcha. Ellison said she was just trying to find, quote, $600,000 that is unaccounted for. Reading from a stack of notes and papers, Ellison questioned Lewis on more than 30 different figures for approximately 15 minutes during the hearing. Ellison repeatedly said she was trying to make sure there was transparency in the city's operations. Lewis repeatedly said that he would meet with Ellison at a later date to discuss her questions when he had the figures in front of him. I just, I think, you know, everybody's been talking about transparency. If we don't all have the same figures, be it the public, the administration, council, or the auditor, mm -hmm. it's hard for any one body to make a decision. For a full listing of Ellison's figures and questions, see the Highland County Press Companion story. Okay. Encumbrances on the fund balance before council shows $255,138.52 encumbered. Encumbrance on the expense report is $87,266. Is what now? Eighty-seven thousand two hundred and sixty-six dollars. Come here. You, you're, you're just getting. No, it confused. seems black and white. And then it even gets more confusing if you go out into the public sector and read on seven twenty-nine the fund balance, unencumbered fund balance, written in the Highland County Press was six hundred twenty-one thousand two hundred fifty-four dollars. Well, I won't vouch for the press. So we'll just it was in your article. Here. It was in your article, okay. in your opinion. So I'm asking, what is the true unencumbered fund balance in the general fund? The true unencumbered fund balance in the general fund. Okay. If you look, as of the end of July, but this number right here states at three fifty nine six zero nine twenty. Okay. But it's still 300000 off from what you stated in your newspaper article in the state of the city. I don't have that article in front of me. don't recall exactly what it was. I'm sure you're going to show it to me. I can't. I'm just saying the transparency <coughs> is not there from the public, Well, I'll tell council, you what. I'll tell you what. Let's, administration. Let's you and I get together yeah. tomorrow. And then we'll, you ask your questions. We'll look at the information. And then we'll publish it in the paper. How's that for transparency? I would prefer that we give it to council because they're the ones that have to make the decision and the safety well, service director. Uh, because really, clearly, clearly you, you spent your whole day working. Unless we want to read the paper, you know. working on No, it. actually, I've had this information since Friday. Okay, so you spent the whole weekend on that. Fairly. Because it's a concern to me. There's six hundred thousand dollars. Not accounted for. And all that time I was in the office and you never bothered to come back and ask me anything. I actually asked uh, Peter Pence, the finance committee chairman. And uh, why would you ask Pete? Right. I'm yeah. right in the same building as you, Mrs. Ellison. You but know, I really, really what it really seems to have. me is that you're playing a game of gotcha right now. I'm not. I'm asking. All I, I, I want is the answer. Are. I think you are. You know, you should be able to tell me the differences. Well, you know what? Whenever. We get together and we'll look at those numbers again tomorrow and then we'll answer those questions and then we'll, uh, we'll publish them. Well, again, How does that sound? as you know, a member of the public, I think my questions need answers, but I think they need answers for council well, and the Mayor and Safety Service Director first. Following the adjournment of the tax budget hearing, Lewis left and did not return for the council meeting during which council considered the tax budget. Council voted 5-2 to two to accept a resolution adopting the proposed 2011 budget for the city. Council member Bonnie Parr and Mary Brown Turner voted against the measure. Hillsborough Mayor Dick Zink indicated that he might veto the legislation. Zink, according to Hillsborough Law Director Fred Beery, has 10 days to either sign or veto the legislation. If we get the answers that she's looking for tomorrow, then there'll be no problem. But if we don't get the answers, there will be a problem. Okay?